Okay, this is going to be one from my interesting files, my scientific files, that is. Okay, there's a story going around right now um, in Spain. A um, number of researchers have been working on a place called the Pit of Bones, which is, um, I think it's north of Madrid near a place called Burgos. Um, they found, for a long time, they found a lot of bones that are mixed down there. It's one of the largest uh, largest gatherings of uh, fossilized bones they found in one in one specific site. Well, they um, they jigsaw puzzled it. They decided to start playing with the bone fragments and such, and they've started reconstructing. Um, a number of the skeletons and skulls and such. I think the last I heard of it was like 17 skulls that they've more or less uh, put back together. It's really interesting because I think they said the numbers were 430,000 years ago is when they believe these people lived. That's back, you know, towards the Neanderthal type period. Now, were these ne Neanderthal skulls? They could have been. However, there's a few things that Neanderthal skulls tend to tend to have, and everything tended to to match up on this. Um, I mean, Neanderthals had the very large teeth, and they had the very jutting kind of prominent jawline. They also had um, a large brain pan, suggestive of you know the more higher evolved creatures. These skulls are put back together, though. They have the jaw, they have the teeth, but they have a smaller brain pan. Uh, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder exactly why there's a difference between this and what you expect. Does that mean that, you know, perhaps what we put together in the past were flukes with the large brain pan, or are these the flukes? You know, is that why this pit has all these people in it. Were they all just lemmings? Were they stupid enough that one fell in the pit and they all followed suit? I don't know. Nobody's ever going to know that. But I do think it's very interesting that they're now starting to reconstruct the skeletons and it's going to lead to a bigger and better understanding of that period. I mean, 430,000 years ago. It's not like we can call up a, you know, a grandfather and say, hey, what were you doing in that time period? doesn't work that way so you know eh. um that's all I wanted I just want I just thought it was a very interesting article that people should be aware of that we finally have the technology to do something like this that we can put these uh, skeletons back together and start learning from the reconstructed skeletons it makes you wonder what else we could do where this could expand to if we can learn from the skeletons by putting them back together, um, how long, you know, I mean, how long before we can do that with other stuff just by having the base materials to do it, the base materials they came from? Maybe this is me getting all philosophical and starting to think a little too hard, but um, that's it. I mean, I just, I thought I'd share that story. Uh, yeah, it caught my interest because the Spanish word for jigsaw puzzles is uh, rompecabezas, which means headbreaker. And I thought that was the funniest thing in the world. So, that's it. Hopefully I've uh, helped people with some, some scientific education and some understanding of what's going on over there in Spain in the anthropological field. So, hopefully you learned a little bit. Later, guys.